And a huge thank you to all the names on screen right now, including our newest Renegade member, Mooncat TS, for clicking the join button down below and contributing to the channel financially. Hugely appreciate that, my friends. If you do enjoy the content, we stream live at twitch.tv forward slash let's suffer together. But you can also be notified about when we put out fresh content most days by clicking the subscribe button, ringing that bell, and there's always the like button and comments down below. And that really helps support the channel as well. Enjoy the show, my friends. And uh, welcome back to Noisa. I'm Supper of Let's Suffer Together back in the mountains, my friends. And I forgot to give myself something. We are here today to show you my favorite build of all time. Now, there's something to be said about simplicity, all right? There we go. So. Bombs materialized. Bomb-like spells can be placed in the item spell or inventory and used like throwable items. Unlimited spells. Most spells are now unlimited. And obviously, edit. So we can edit straight away. And we get this little, <laughs> we get this load of fun. Again, there's something to be said about simplicity, right? We are turning into the original Noit uh, Bomber Man. To oh shit, run away! <laughs> but we shall not be using once. We shall only be using bombs materialized. Two, and go on a little bomb adventure. It turns the game on its head a little bit, you know, in a good way though. Normally, I would want explosion immunity, but since I'm starting out a run with this, I figure, you know, there's something to be said about changing up and, uh, you know, doing something a little bit wild. <laughs> I'd not normally do this, but... Yeah, we do have to, uh, you know, fuck things up, destroy everything. So it should be a highly explosive... You know, day at the office here in New York. Oh, my face! Not the face, man. Hopefully, we can get holy hang oh holy hang grenade or something like that. However, at the moment, this intrigues me. Oh, he's got the he's got him though. We have to perform very well with bombs. If you use bombs regularly, then you'll understand. It can be a Ambrosia. Ambrosia. Is that a triple Ambrosia? I think it is. God damn. I promised this is not rigged. Not in the least little bit. I want to see if it mixes up into something I want. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. But there's pro bombs. And that's the great thing. We get unlimited bombs. Oh, he loves me, but still. We do have to watch out. Certain things can detonate the explosive prematurely. Like enemy shots. Enemies might not die to the bomb as well and get launched towards me. There's a few problems here and that. But my friends, I hope you've been enjoying and had the possibility to catch up with at least the highlights of the no hit room we did. The, you know, 33 orb. Get me in. Yeah. The 33 orb all boss no hit run. I know plenty of you have, but if you haven't, the highlights run and the full run. Every single stream is uploaded now. The, the streams are uh, in their own playlist. However, I still had to upload them all at once, so hopefully that hasn't fucked me up with the algorithm or anything like that. But, you know, you can help sort that out on your end by clicking buttons and shit. If you fancy it, again. It's all up to you. I'm going to be uh, doing what I want, you know making some videos but with cult of the lamb out pretty much next week like eight days from right now ah. oh yes cult of the lamb looks excellent in terms of a top-down roguelike game looks professional looks cute and hopefully from what i've seen in the demo anyway the gameplay looks spot on of course with it being you know just released not even released yet. I'll still have a lot to work, a lot of work to do. A lot of polishing. Oh dear, it's going to chase me down, but I think we're fine. Did we get him? We can't really do anything with a tablet. Again, that'd be cheating. That was terrible. Scully, take a bomb. <laughs> well, that's what you get for failing. No points the scully kick today but i do like the fact and always like the fact that bombs materialized allows you to you know change things up 
that allows you to, uh, you know. Now that is fungus. You can actually eat that green fungus to trip balls. But again, it completely turns the game on its head if you want it to. And we're discussing this in chat today over on Twitch, which um, I did forget about a few things. My chat box is on, my alert box is on. I forgot the old link up top, and there yeah, we're fine now. There we go. Now we're all ordinary, normal YouTube standard in Streamlabs. Great stuff. What was I saying? Yes, discussing this on uh, stream today. I can't remember what I was discussing. <laughs> ah. Yeah, how bombs materialized changed the entire run, and yeah, it was good. We were fungus shifting today. I don't often shift, but, you know. Today, we went in big, tripping balls. It was good times. Hey, sometimes, right? Oh, shit, run away. Don't it? Whoa, helpful dude. We want... I saying that. If we're bombs materialize the entire run, buying spells... It's a bit of bullshit. Don't want it. Don't need it. Yeah, the chance to get unlimited bombs and throw them out of your inventory is just insane. Immense. You also, again, just like with potions, you, you see that little dot, dot, dot? You do get a nice little, uh, and throwing tablets as well, you do get a little nice dot, 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 so you can kind of judge the throw. Oh, I know what I was going to talk about, right? When you get, and we're talking about this on stream, when you get to a, a certain experience level in Noita, the game can become boring. Um, if you, you know, don't appropriately change how you play because you, you can become overpowered you know you're just wandering around the world with too much juice too much protection in a way even though you can always die in Noya. and that fear is always hanging over your head and you probably will die eventually hey, a lot of times you know you're just wandering around without a mission or if you have a mission you get it done and then oh what now you know and then once you've done that enough times that you've done all the uh, side quests, which don't get me wrong, will take a hell of a long time, you've got to end up throwing yourself your own challenges. You've got to res restrict yourself, you know? You've got to make your own fun. And I do feel like I'm a bit of a professional doing that and understand on my own end it's exactly what I need to do. Hence the no hit runs, you know, this run here today, just throw myself no ones, bombs materialized. But this is such an underused perk that has no ramifications. It has no negative ramifications, I should say. All it does, the only thing it does is allow you to put bomb-like stuff in your inventory and throw it. That's it. I mean, if you accidentally put a bomb in your inventory, you didn't want to and start throwing it around, yeah, it could be negative, I suppose, at a push. But that'd take some specialist stupidity. Which, to be fair, you know. Hmm. This is the internet. So, someone's done it somewhere. Oh, they're fucking up. Oh! But I'm going to leave now. <laughs> it's getting a bit spicy. Ow. We can take perks, of course. What we're looking for is explosion immunity. No doubt. Now, the reason... <laughs> the reason I did not want to give myself explosion immunity was because I wanted still to earn something in this room, you know? If I gave myself fire immunity, explosion immunity, that type of thing. Uh, the audio is a bit crackly. I'm going to sort that out. It'll just take me a literal moment. Apologies, but these things... They annoy when you run with certain audio. It does happen. My audio will cut out for a second. And we should be back. That's a lot better. Yeah, it's better to do it now than just for it to get worse and people notice and, you know. I could start the video entirely over again, but I've just got an explosion immunity. Enemies explode upon death, but you get immunity to explosive damage. Boom, Shanka. Of course, I have no fire immunity. Oh dear. Bombs make um, holy mountains crumble. Which could anger the gods. It's actually kind of unlikely 
For some reason, I don't know why, when terrain like this gets powdered, can you see this powder on the ground? It's an uneven surface now. This powder is re it's really easy to drown in it and get stuck in it. Basically, it's self-locked. Um, ah, death is not soft lock, I suppose, but, you know, same thing. <laughs> in fact, you can get soft locks. What can happen is you can create so much powder here at this choke point that you can't get out, especially if you only have a limited amount of bombs. It's happened to me before. I had to find... I didn't actually get soft locks, but it took me... A hell of a long time to, you know, figure out a way out. I just had to buy everyone in the shop and eventually just uh, do things. What I want is an all-seeing eye. Throwing bombs with an all-seeing eye, of course. And we could earn a hell of a lot of money. I, I am going to check ones, but only for holy hand grenades. And I doubt at, oh shit, at this level we're going to get holy hand grenades. So, Yeah, but I hope you've all had a great week. I know I haven't put out much, I say, real content. Um, like, a lot of it's been focused on the no-hit run, but that was, you know, needed. I didn't want the streams for the no-hit run to remain private. Um, ah, uh, that's easily a tricky one to get. Again, flying enemies. If I, oh, if I can get them to shoot the shot. Oh, that was a little risky. Yeah, get them to shoot the shot. It can damage the explosive. However, a little risky on my end. Well, let's just keep on throwing. It's the only way. <laughs> Maybe we'll get lucky. Not lucky. Never lucky, in fact. Of course, we can get more and more. Oh, I got one. One, one bird down. <laughs> the original bomber man. Okay. We can, like we just saw, set things on fire and have them, you know, explode. To try and chain react explosives as well. The problem with the powder, because it comes from the ceiling, it can block gold and stuff you want. Now I'm wondering about something like faster projectiles. Um, Ah. Oh, we're immune though, so it's fine. And that is the benefit and bonus. Oh, I know what we can do. We can, well, we could have done if we didn't actually end up getting fucked. Yeah, the slime from those dudes, actually really handy. But this might be a run which I need to, you know, head out into the portals and into the next... Uh, biomes relatively quickly because of course fire damage will rip you apart of course yeah, but like i said i hope you're all having a fantastic week cult of the lamb my friends a week now can't wait for it i really can't it looks so professionally done the cuteness also i would like to officially enlist you or offer enlistment into you know the cult we are going to create here on YouTube and over on Twitch. What I'm hoping to do is have separate save files for Cult, Cult of the Lamb. Firstly, I might be doing more instructional videos for Cult of the Lamb, um, and then get into regular kind of casual gameplay like I do in Neuer. Um But when we do get into casual gameplay, people who are, you know, who click the join button or contribute to the channel in other ways, because in my cult of my, you know, furry animal friends who join the cult, along your mission we can rename them so i'm going to be renaming them after people who click the join button or you know various other arbitrary measures <laughs> that uh, i can name people um and think so over on twitch it'll probably be you know subs have priority but anyone who's in chat i suppose you know anyone who's hanging around enjoying the stream but we'll see i don't have a definitive uh, way i'm going to be picking you know, cult members in the game. We shall definitely see on that one. However, again, since we can, you know, rename them, it will definitely be uh, trying to keep you all alive, you know, keep all my cult members alive and healthy, especially if they're named after chat. Don't want them dying now. <laughs> That'd be embarrassing. That would be, uh, you know, very cult-like behavior. But, uh, you know, 
A community behavior? Maybe not. Ah, uh, I mean, we do have this ambrosia we could come back and get, but uh, we're not. Oh, I kind of want HP here, though. And blowing everything up is really cool and everything. Got whip it. All right, all right. That bomb might be perfect. Yes, especially if it combines. Oh, money. There it is. Ooh, oh, the heart. I only want that one heart. Right, and we'll leave. I promise. Well, I kind of just missed that all that ambrosia. But I want, I want holy hand grenades, man. I can't put nukes in my inventory, unfortunately, but if we could, we would. But it's my favourite build, like, in the entire game, like I said before. But something that changes the entire way you play. Or at least gives you the option. While, like, you can still use your once, you know. A long distance cast, unfortunately, I can't use it. This would set me on fire a hell of a lot. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, dear. We need fire immunity. Like, soon. This is going to, obviously... And we need water. At least... I'm going to 50-50 it. It's one of my favorite combinations to pull off this. Like, half ambrosia, half water. So when you're on fire, it not only protects you from projectiles, but it puts you out of fire. Regular Ambrosia doesn't put you out of fire, so... Yeah, we've got a nice little water potion. And we've got a nice little holy hand grenade. No, uh, like, alternative holy hand grenade. With a glass cannon. <laughs> I feel less safe. But yes, five times the explosive radius. And of course, what we can do is send one over. That's probably a bad idea. Because there's going to be no terrain now. <laughs> ah, there's some terrain. Ooh, yeah. Oh, that would have been nice. Homing. All I want is HP. Whoa, okay. Yeah, if I preemptively spray myself with water, we'll be fine. Um, oh, the money, though. Can we get to the money in time? It's all up for grabs if we can get the money. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, money. Of course, this is a little bit overpowered at the moment, but... Hey, there's still problems, right? There's still problems. <laughs> there's always something You're gonna try and ruin your life. Oh, they sh you see what they did? They shot my... Oh, come on, man. What the fuck? But that was perfect in every conceivable way. New game. <laughs> Seriously, though, what the fuck? Unfortunately... Glass cannon did not... That's the problem with glass cannon. It can open up terrain. So... Bombs materialized. Unlimited spells and edit. Those are the three we're allowed. Spells. Bomb. And we're away. Acid potion? Mm, yes, sure. Hey, I'll tell you what, right? I'm going to play in the exact way... I would if I want to win. <laughs> I think that's a smart, uh, you know, because throwing around a bomb like this, it's actually in your interest to not fight that much. You're not buying much. Ooh, you're looking for HP more than anything. Until you get explosion immunity, of course, uh, you're messing with fire. And, you know, explosives, I suppose. But that was a pretty rude sniper, wasn't it? I don't even know what fully happened there. Mainly because I opened up all the terrain, it was still dark in several places. We're never going to have all that, um, you know, ambrosia like last time, though. It's just not going to happen, and I really need to get rid of this. Ah, oh, super. I shouldn't have done that, because he didn't seem to want to come through here. Yes. I am really exposed here. <laughs> Oh, 
But I suppose if you want to win a bombs materialized run in this fashion, say you just have bombs, that's it. Probably best just to, you know, run. Blow, use bombs materialized to blow open terrains. Oh, I hate it when it does that. Even though I can still technically play. There we go. That should not happen again. Like, the best thing I can sometimes do is set the enemy on fire so they don't actually retaliate. Because, again, there's no way I'm getting homing on these shots or anything like that. <laughs> oh, has it bounced past? Oh, we got him. Beautiful. That's going to be a bit of a nightmare for him. <laughs> hey, it's like a Noita Pachinko machine. I don't want that money. Fine to do. I'm not sure how the final boss would go, but... Hey. <laughs> Serious game. I don't want... I, don't, I really kind of don't want the glass cannon. It's too powerful. Later on, like, I've used holy hand grenades before with bombs materialized, and it is a lot of fun. Especially with terrain that doesn't get destroyed, or at least only powders. But early on, there's a lot of terrain that just completely disappears, but you can't refuse a good glass cannon. Especially when I've got two bottles of water now. I've just realized I don't have explosion immunity. <laughs> Oh, I'm a stupid. And that is also a problem when you have a low IQ uh, <laughs> and you can't make uh, reasonable judgments on. I got excited. You know, I got really excited. There's one thing I can do, however. Protection. <laughs> Blow everything up. You know, keep on throwing it. Hope to destroy as much as possible down there. And get on with life, you know. I'm not sure how much that would have destroyed, apart from my lots. I wonder if I can throw this far enough that it won't actually blow me up. What do you reckon, my friends? <laughs> That's probably going to end up blowing me up. Oh, beautiful. Hey, we deal with everybody on the right-hand side. How about the left-hand side? <laughs> Duck and cover. Our oh, HP, though, that is now useless. Yeah, we've got reroll money. We leave if we can. We need to get out. This is escape from, you know, coal pits. We cannot throw this even if we are, you know, desperate. <laughs> Oh, come on, you've, oh, we've got very little chance of getting explosion immunity. We've got two chances, but... Are you fucking kidding me, game? This is perfection. Twice. I mean, the radius is still ridiculous. Although, not as ridiculous as I, ridiculous as I thought. Oh, the combo, very nice. Did get hit slightly. Of course, snipers will rip me apart. So will those dudes. <laughs> but, okay. Hey, if we find some metal we can chill on, get paid. We didn't reroll either, so. Of course, with uh, glass cannon, it does make it slightly easier that I can just destroy the terrain and fall down, but... Uh... Hey, like you saw before, it did create problems, so it's not an insta win by any means. There might be a HP in there. Oh, there's a worm and there's bubbles. Oh, yeah, we can't get HP. What the fuck am I thinking? You see? Low IQ, motherfucker. Apparently, low IQ motherfuckers can do no-hit runs, but can't. Jesus Christ, let's just blow everything up. Keep throwing bombs. That'll do everything. 
I'm not fire immune, but there's enough evaporated water in here that's keeping me all tidy and shit. Right, everybody, I could have just escaped before. Oh, the money. I should have got the money. Huh. Let's do this, actually. Let's just wander across the side, throw it. I might actually be throwing here because I might wander into, um, you know, sniper shots because they can go quite a distance. I was about to say, I'm probably going to bump into something that doesn't allow me to explode it. Oh, I'm on fire. But perhaps good money. Not even good money, really. Hey, it's raining. Rain the cash. Oi. And I think we leave. Now, the Heesey base, on the other hand, has a load of metal in it. So... We're gonna have to be careful. Are you gonna give me double glass cannon and fire immunity? Please, 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 please. I said please like three times. That's enough, right? Apparently not. Um, it's a reroll. We can afford a reroll. The hearts are useless because of glass cannon. Freezing field is fire immunity. It literally turns fire immunity on. Great. Yeah, beautiful. So we have the full build now. This is my official, I mean, if you take freeze field and give me fire immunity instead, that's my full build for bombers materialized run. Although glass cannon is optional, as you've seen, it might be a bit too powerful. <laughs> Technically, oh shit, you dickhead. What is it with these guys, man? I'm always gonna fuck a boy up. Wow, wow. Yeah, get one over. He's done for. Oh, the powder. You see, this is kind of almost block him away. What I really need is a medic. <laughs> now we just need to be ready to hop, skip, and jump away from medics. But the metal in the way really makes this just a regular biome in a way. All the other snow will be, uh, ice, will be very destructible, no doubt. Oh, he survived? Jesus. But luckily, we can fire as many as we want, and we'll get the angle on them, you know? Eventually, on a long enough timeline, we'll get the angle. We'll kill them. Medic will pop out of, you know, the darkness at some point. Gonna happen. Is that a medic in there? No, it's a shotgun. Ah. Actually, it might be a sniper. I'm sorry. Oh, someone was firing shit at me then. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, that was handy. Yeah, dude's still firing. I think it's a freezing gaze. Which is a bit obnoxious, mate. Yeah, it was. Oh, he shot the bomb. That's what you really want. If they can shoot the bomb, it's pretty much certain they are um, within, you know, both the range, the radius, and you have the angle for the explosive to blow them up. Next, I would like all-seeing eye, because I want to know... Oh, medic, no! Get out the fucking... <laughs> Duck and cover, mate, and it'll save your life. Get under your desk, you know. That would have been perfect medical, man. Ow. But of course, this is just a taste of what you could get if you uh, mess around with bombs materialized. It's an excessive taste, but uh, hey, sometimes that's the best, because then... Ow. You can understand the danger of running like this, even though I've got, you know, the type of explosives that will debilitate everybody. Yeah, glass cannon taking your HP down to 50. 
problematic because it takes, you know, if I could just self-combust and explode, right? You know, like Revenge Explosion, how it's instantaneous? With bombs not being instantaneous, if you see an enemy, you need to react to them. Because it's going to be a, about three seconds until you can explode an uh, explosive. If they don't shoot it. Is that toaster following me as well? I've got an idea, but it's not the best one. That might work. Oh, medic, get out of the way, mate. You're a fucking idiot. Medic, why did you backtrack? You were meant to keep going forward. Yeah, at least it solves the freezing field problem. I did want to earn... I don't know how much money I'd need for a holy hand grenade. If I did find one, because of course they are... Uh, variably priced, shall we say. Well, that's a bunch of metal in the way, so... Oh, I'll tell you what you can do. Oh, shit. If you know you've got a load of bombs around, if you as soon as you turn around the corner, like if you time it right, you can throw a bomb. Say I throw a load of bombs here. As soon as they're about to explode, throw one through there, and it blast in here. Because the metal would normally block off all of the blast. If you know what I mean. Oh, shit. Get Sneepo, he see it. Bad, he see it. I get his money, though. If I didn't keep on getting stuck in blood, I consider this uh, relatively safe right now. I was thinking, if I just keep on throwing bombs... Now, uh, you can't really get a permanent chain reaction going on. They're always going to come in in groups, if they're all exploding each other. Like, you get one big group of explosive, then you get another... But you can't really throw one bomb, explode it, throw one bomb, explode it, throw one bomb, explode it, as fast as you're throwing, which is... Tactically annoying, but I think if you did manage to do that, it would be, you know, it would be easier. But again, if you did say not take uh, the old uh, glass cannon, the tactics of this are a lot different anyway. I'm just having a nice little fuck about today since the no hit run was uh, highly intensive. I also, for my four-year anniversary stream, watched the entirety of Trigon, um, which I forgot how emotional I fucking get normally get at the end of that, um, watching that. So that emotionally drained me for my anniversary stream. So I'm still recovering in ways that you, know, you may not know about. <laughs> but yeah, that shit was uh, wonderful. It was a great anniversary stream. Uh, four years. Going on strong. It's the four more. Or many more, at least. Yeah, four more, yes. Four more, yes. Yeah, I've stuck around this for, you know, 60, was it 60, 70 HP, motherfucker? I've stayed here longer than I thought. I'll probably leave now, though. And hope we can, uh, oh, get something. Electro Ooh, the electricity. Would that pre-detonate? Say I throw a bomb on the floor. Would the electricity then shock it into detonating? Know what I mean? I could re-roll, but I can all... Ooh, explosive death. Unfortunately, I can't use that because it's it would have to be placed on a wand. Plus, you'd be messing around with... I'll say that. No, you can have... Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. You can't have a wand out while, you know. Oh, no. Yeah, let's see on that. Hey, it's nice to have the electricity anyway, so. Oh, if I'm in liquid, maybe. Liquid. Hello. Yep, there you go. Thought you ran out. <laughs> I'm not sure about killing the dragon. 
I really don't know on that. Oh, oh, Twitchy. That's fair enough, isn't it? Twitchy does not get rid of immunities, so. Hey, again, with the lack of HP I've got. Right, this is seriously tricky times. Oh, I suppose I still look for... Hold on, hang on, it's... He can't have boxes, unfortunately. Boxes are not bombs. I don't think. In fact, I think I've tried. Ah. I'm losing my platform, so I'm being forced down quickly as well. Another problem you'll have if you are trying to find HP. But with every build, you get positives and negatives, right? And, uh... This one, at least you get to blow some shit up, right? At least that is the best con, you know? <laughs> the best positive, sorry, not the best con. What the fuck am I talking about? And at least with the last cannon, when you get down to the bottom, you can just spam bombs upwards and... Nearly everybody within range is gonna die. Yeah, the freezing field is being a little bit of a pain in the ass. And me throwing bombs constantly is um, a little problematic. It's not deleting all the water. There should be some good money here. Ah, again, they can really fuck me up those little bits. I don't have exactly much money. on, get paid if I find a holy hand grenade. I want it. It would be best to try and find it on a wand, but uh, well, all I've got is the ability to climb up here. Oh, a plant, man. I'm going to keep that plant. It's a nice little plant. Ow. Toxic, because of uh, freezing field. Yeah, if I can find a wand, I'd love a wand. But there is no wand, so... I got hit. Yeah, it's only a twitchy dude. Only a twitchy dude he could end my entire career. And we're away. Like I'm saying, I'm playing to win this one. So I'm not fucking about. I got lucky. Like, I seriously got lucky on the... Uh... Ooh, phasing. Nah. Phasing, unfortunately, gives you more projectile damage in terms of you take more projectile damage. More blood, because I've got freezing field, I can't really. Unfortunately, I think the bombs are considered non-trick kills. Even though I'm throwing them like this. It's still my property. Whoa, that acid. Oh, shit. Gamble? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting gamble. I'm trying to think what could fuck me up really bad. Or could help me. Nah, screw it. Oh, that's kind of shit, actually. Um, nothing, really. We get... I suppose one radar means I can try and find ones, but... Now we're into somewhere like the Heesey base again. The vault has a lot of metal in, but... Unfortunately for the vault, it's very destructible and rusted metal. So, we for a bomb. Everything gets destroyed yet again. And we'll just try and get some levitation back, but unfortunately for me... Well, fortunately for me, there was this... Nice little bit of terrain. Not anymore, though. Uko, bro. Hey, you didn't see me. Ah. Hey, you definitely didn't see me. Oh, the Ambrosia. Yeah. Uko protecting the Ambrosia. Keeping it safe for me. Uko will be fine. He, he likes. Yeah, all this tickle. Oh, the Uko stone. Ah. Yeah, we don't need that much water anymore. Hey, we might find an Uko or two. I think I might be able to put TNT in. We do have edit, so... I might be able to. Oh, I could do two different ones. Hell yeah, put TNT in. This TNT is a smaller explosive. So for the final few... You know, little biomes or something. Uko friends. 
Uko. He's not actually infatuated with me, you know? He won't attack with me. He's not pheromone or anything like that. Dude, bonked away my TNT. But TNT, next time. I say next time. Hey, this is good, though, you know? Say you did get glass cannon. This is a little bit more manageable in terms of terrain destruction. Also, I think TNT explodes quicker, so you might have a, uh, you know, better time in terms of having terrain to stand on. Yeah, an explosion immune, but not electric immune, so... I'm just going to keep on throwing until everybody's dead. Again, boxes won't do anything for me. These things up. Ow. That Ambrosia was pretty nice, saved my ass then. Am I in a puddle of Ambrosia? I was. Oh, Jesus. Oh, poor. I think I'm dead here. Yeah. No. <laughs> hey, I mean, it's not easy. Yeah, toxic ice. Freezing field without toxic immunity. If you fall into toxic, yeah, it can be the end. You just rub up against it. Not to mention those dudes with, um, you know, projectile damage explosives at the same time homing in on me yeah either way a really fun build i highly suggest you look into bombs materialize yourselves you know i'm just showing off today basically i mean getting glass cannon both of those times kind of changed the way the runs went obviously if you don't have like think about the first two floors where i was having to maintain with small explosions Having to worry about, you know, gravity on the explosive, the amount of time it took for the explosive to go off. It can be really tactical, and it can be a really interesting way of running running the game. Or, just a handy accompaniment to uh, your entire inventory, even with once. Hey, use it how you see fit. I just really enjoy it. It's a uh, hell of a lot of fun. Glad I could show you today, my friends. Thank you for taking the time to enjoy today's video. I've been Suffer of Let's Suffer Together. We stream live at twitch.tv forward slash Let's Suffer Together. And, um, yeah, there's always the like button, subscribe button, ring that bell, anything that helps out the content, what we do here, all helps out, uh, you know, stuff in general. Yeah, stuff, stuff matters, guys. Anyway, I will catch up with you in either tomorrow's stream or tomorrow's video. Okay, you take it easy, my friends. Enjoy the rest of your day wherever you are in the world. And, uh, yeah, if you have any questions about the, the game, the run... Bombs materialized. Life in general. Feel free to get down in the comment section. I'm always, uh, you know, chilling. <laughs> I mean, I might be asleep, but hey, once I'm awake, I, I see all the comments. I give my thumbs up. Or, if need be, a reply. Whew. I'm going to go, though. It's like half one in the morning here, which isn't actually that late, but still. If I can get an early night and actually be productive tomorrow, wow. That'd be quite cool. You take it easy though, guys. See you soon.